In this example, we have the series of the AK term as negative 1 to the k plus 1 times k factorial divided by 12 to the power k. With the coefficient negative 1 to the k plus 1, this is the alternating series. Continue with finding the AK plus 1 term, or in the form of negative 1 to the power k plus 2 multiplied by k plus 1 factorial divided by 12 to the power k plus 1. To find the value r or the ratio r, which is the limit as k approaches infinity, this time we're going to have to make sure we put the absolute value for the ratio of the ak plus 1 over ak because the terms alternate inside from positive to negative, positive, negative, and so forth. Limit k approaches infinity. The absolute value will take care of the negative coefficient. So then the ak plus 1, which is the k plus 1 factorial divided by 12 to the power k plus 1, multiplied by the reciprocal of the ak by ignoring the negative coefficient term because the absolute value will take care of it. Then the reciprocal of the ak is 12 to the power k over k factorial. Simplify the expression as k plus 1 factorial is the same as k plus 1 multiplied by k factorial. And the 12 to the power k plus 1 is the same as 12 to the power k multiplied by 12 to the first power. As we simplify the numbers or cancel the common factors, the k factorial, k factorial, 12 to the power k and 12 to the power k. Then we have this as to find the limit of k plus 1 divided by 12 as k approaches infinity and the value of the limit approaches infinity. As r equals infinity, which is larger than 1, we can say the series diverges by the ratio test. Another example, the series of k squared times k plus 3 factorial divided by k factorial times 3 to the power 5k. We see factorial on the top and on the bottom. We can simplify it a little bit more before we start finding the r value as the limit of the ratio ak plus 1 and uh, ak. For the ak, which is k squared multiplied by k plus 3 factorial divided by 3 to the 5k times k factorial. We can expand the k plus 3 factorial as k plus 3 multiplied by k plus 2 multiplied by k plus 1 and multiplied by k factorial. So then we can reduce k factorial. Now it becomes the ak term as k squared multiplied by k plus 3, k plus 2, and k plus 1 factors divided by 3 to the power 5k. Next, from the simplified form of the ak, we can derive ak plus 1 term, which is the quantity k plus 1 to the second power multiplied by k plus 4, k plus 3, and k plus 2, and we replace k with the k plus 1, and 3 to the 5 multiplied by k plus 1, which is 3 to the 5k times 3 to the value 5. And next, we're going to compute the r value, which is the limit as k approaches infinity of the absolute value of the ak plus 1 divided by ak. Both ak and k, ak plus 1 greater than 0, so we can ignore the absolute value symbol. Then the r is the limit as k approaches infinity of the ak plus 1, which is k plus 1 squared multiplied by k plus 4 
multiply by k plus 3, multiply by k plus 2, or divided by 3 to the 5k times 3 to the 5. Multiply by the reciprocal of the ak, which is 3 to the 5k, divided by k squared, k plus 3, k plus 2, and k plus 1. And next, we can reduce this common, the common factor. 3 to the power 5k cancel. The term k plus 2 cancel. k plus 3, k plus 3 cancel. Now we have, oh, we also have the power 2 here of the k plus 1. So k plus 1 square, we can write as k plus 1 times k plus 1. And one of the factor k plus 1 can be reduced with one with the factor k plus 1 on the denominator. And then we have r as the limit k approaches infinity of the product of k plus 1 and k plus 4 divided by the numerator, the denominator, which is 3 to the fifth, multiplied by k to the second the limit value approaching 1 over 3 to the fifth, which is less than 1. We can say the series converges by the ratio test.